Tonight, there is new controversy at Damascus High School. Two teens accused of sharing a humiliating picture of a student with autism. It happened in a boy's bathroom, and that photo was then posted on social media. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis introduces us now to the victim's mother, who says she is heartbroken. It's a story you'll see only on 7. I'm not sure how many people actually saw the picture. Kelly Salvador's son, Brandon has autism and attends Damascus High School. Honestly, I felt like I was kicked in the stomach. Last month, two students photographed the 20 year old as he stood at a urinal with pants dropped around his knees. The boys, one, a member of Damascus's JV football team, later shared a photo of Brandon's exposed buttocks on Snapchat. I'm so sorry. Salvador gets emotional thinking how many classmates have seen the humiliating picture. I asked him, did someone take your picture in the bathroom? And he just started laughing and said, you don't take pictures in the bathroom. You go to the bathroom in the bathroom. So he doesn't realize what's going on. Police charged both boys with visual surveillance. The case now in juvenile court. Damascus's principal sent an email to parents, but did not explain the victim is disabled. I think by not being open about this happening, it's going to happen again. It, of course, made my world stop instantly. In 2016, ABC7 reported on a different autistic student at Damascus, also photographed while urinating. And it's worth noting, Brandon's incident occurred the day after the broomstick locker room rapes that have gained national attention. I want them to realize that there's consequences to your actions. Salvador would like more than an apology and is concerned for her good-natured son who loves French fries and Barney episodes. I'm glad that he doesn't know that it happened, but at the same time, it just shows how special needs kids are so susceptible to being abused in this way. In Damascus, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.